I'm going to get a slightly bigger brush. And I'm going to take my phthalo blue and my white. And even though in the background of this we've got grass and compost pile and a neighbor's outbuilding, I'm just going to make it the sky. It's less busy and it's more fun. Now this is kind of an abstract feel, so I don't need... Ooh, problem with a round canvas, it's going to roll. But I don't need to have this looked exact or super smooth. I kind of like the rough impressionist look. Now because I'm using a round canvas, I am going to hold this so it doesn't roll. Probably should have attached it to the easel somehow. Now while doing this, I'm also going to pick the horizon line, and I want it to be about here. Kind of, it's the rule of thirds. I've got kind of a third of it being the sky in the background. Because if you do it too close, it's going to look like your chicks are just sitting on a cliff. And unless your chicks are actually sitting on a cliff, which I don't recommend, you want it to look like there's some ground behind them. I'm also going to try and make it a little bit lighter here, maybe on my second go through down by the ground, because if you look at the sky, it gets lighter the closer to the ground it gets. Now, I'm using a big brush so we can be really loose and broad and just very painterly. And I don't mind these little streaks right here. I think it adds to the impressionist look. But I do like to cover up all of that red. Not everyone does, and that's fine. So if you want to leave those little pops of red, go right ahead. I am going to try very hard not to do that. white. Let's see. Just add some texture to this here. There. There's our sky. 